say, can you see by the dawn's early light what so proudly we held at the twilight last gleaming, whose broad stripes and bright stars through the perilous fight or the ramparts we watched were so gallantly streaming in the rocket rain the bombs burst in the gave a proof through the night that our flag was still there oh say the Y'all could all be seated now, thank you. I would like to welcome each of you to Springfield for the dedication of the Lincoln Legacy Museum in its historic Washington County Courthouse, built in 1816. I take great pride in our ancestors who have taken excellent care of this facility for nearly 200 years, and that proves it when you heard the bell ring. Now we invite visitors to this place where they can read, view, and learn about the Lincoln family history in Washington County. Through these exhibits, photos, and documents, we understand even more why President Lincoln's legacy is one of the best and most beloved of any president in our nation. Off record, off his sheet, Anywhere you go in America, if you talk about presidents, it always goes back to Lincoln. Lincoln is probably, and is, the most bereaved president of, of the United States. As you view the exhibits, you will also understand why we are so proud to claim Washington County is where the Lincoln legacy began. For your, for your interest, Lincoln died not knowing where, whether his parents were married until the document was found in this courthouse. He was, he was gone. And uh, good luck, bad luck, you know, he ran against Douglas in Ohio for the Senate and he lost. Bad luck. He won the presidency. Good luck. Bad luck, he was assassinated. Today we celebrate yet another wonderful attraction in our community that will encourage tourists to visit our main street, which is located on the Lincoln Heritage National Scenic Byway. And we invite y'all all to come back in and visit. If you have questions, there's people that can answer you. And if they, if they can't answer you, they'll get the answer and send it to you. And thank y'all for coming. And now Judge Executive John Suttles. Thank you, Mayor Ciccone. I too would like to welcome all of our visitors to our beautiful and historic community on this sunny but cool spring day that has been chosen to officially open the Lincoln Legacy Museum. We gather here today to dedicate this museum for the purpose of educating its visitors on the heritage of Abraham Lincoln and the Lincoln family and how our humble but hardworking ancestors were instrumental in the development and resolve of our 16th president. Uh, before we go on with our uh, ceremonies, I would like to uh, recognize just a few of our elected officials. Uh, we have with us uh, Representative Mike Harmon. Please make him welcome. And Congressman Guthrie uh, has his field representative, Mr. Steve Miller, is with us today. Steve, welcome. I would like to now ask 
uh, Reverend Clay Stevens to come give her invocation. Would you please rise once again? Let us pray. We thank you, O Lord, today for our nation, for its founders and the principles upon which it began. We thank you for leaders who have given themselves to serve the greater good, even at great personal expense. We thank you for leaders who sought to lead with humility and wisdom, who sought to do what was right by principle instead of popularity. We thank you for the life and legacy of Abraham Lincoln, a man raised in poverty without the right connections, but who demonstrated perseverance and a dogged pursuit of his life calling, a man who showed restraint with his enemies and camaraderie with his friends. We thank you today for the legacy of his agonizing decisions and the vision he cast for this country. Thank you for this place, a place set apart to celebrate not only the person, the president, the servant Abraham Lincoln, but to celebrate what he stood for. We pray that this museum will educate future generations about true moral character, that this place will not merely house cherished relics, but that it will inspire us all to live up to our ideals as individuals and as a nation. May this place remind us that no matter where we are from, each of us can have a lasting impact. May this place remind us that one man, one woman, one boy, or one girl can make a global impact by standing for what is right. May this place instill moral courage for generations to come. Give us the courage to count the cost, even as Mr. Lincoln demonstrated with his life. May his legacy be a vision for us all as we move forward together. In Christ's name, amen. Please be seated. It's my honor to introduce our first uh, guest and guest speaker today, uh, Ms. Marquito Sparrow. She is the Tourism, Arts, and Heritage Cabinet Secretary. Uh, there's such a long list of accomplishments and uh, things that she's done throughout her life, and I will try to be brief with the, the introduction, but it does, uh, there are a few areas that have to be highlighted. Uh, at first, she, was, she chaired the Harrisburg Mercer County Tourism Commission. She served nine years as Marketing and Public Relations Director at Shaker Village at Pleasant Hill. Uh, she served as Director of Tourism for the Louisville Convention and Visitors Bureau. Served on the go both Governor Collins and Governor Wilkinson's Tourism Advisory Board. Served nine years as President and CEO of Kentucky Tourism Council, where he, she was responsible for all sectors of Kentucky travel industry. And when Governor Steve Bashir selected her as the Tourism Arts and Heritage Secretary, he stated, Marquita has an understanding of the challenges and opportunities faced by every region of Kentucky, from our smallest communities to our largest cities. She certainly has a, an understanding of, of cities the size of Springfield and, and communities like Washington County. Uh, she has been a great friend to our county, has uh, visited here multiple times, and we're so honored to have her here today to help us dedicate our, our museum. Please welcome uh, Secretary Marquita Sparrow. Thank you, Judge Settles, and, and thanks to all of you for inviting me to be here today for your special occasion. And I'd also like to welcome the fifth grade students who are here with us today. You help remind us why we have museums and why we recognize leaders like our own Abraham Lincoln. This is an appropriate time to be honoring President Lincoln with this museum since it is very near to the time to the 148th anniversary of the day he was shot at Ford's Theater in Washington at the end of the Civil War. This is also an important place to honor the 16th president since his history and a significant part of our country's history began at a place very near here on June the 12th, 1806, when his parents, Thomas Lincoln and Nancy Hanks, were married. Of course, this community's connection to our famous son is why we are here today to dedicate this museum. But I choose to believe that we are also here because President Lincoln's parents and his grandparents saw what we see today. 
that this part of the world is very special. There is nothing more beautiful than to travel, as I did this morning, from Harrodsburg to Springfield on a, on a spring day like today. The Bashir administration had the honor of being a part of the bicentennial celebration, and that privilege was made possible by the Kentucky General Assembly, the Lincoln Bicentennial Commission, the Kentucky Historical Society, a part of our cabinet, and many partners who did so much to erase the awareness of the important role Kentucky played in the life of America's most cherished public figure. Judge Dan Kelly of Washington County, who cannot be here with us today, was co-chair of the commission, and I want to thank him for his service. Museums like this one are important components to Kentucky's tourism product because one of the biggest reasons for leisure travel is to visit places that have a tangible connection to our nation's history. Sites all along the Lincoln Heritage National Scenic Byway bring visitors from around the world and communities like Springfield see positive economic impact from the new money it brings into the area. Okay. At the Lincoln Legacy Museum, visitors learn more about Lincoln's early life as well as find out about other historic and cultural resources here. And it joins Springsville's new Lincoln statue and the Lincoln Homestead State Park here in Washington County. I am proud of the efforts by Springfield and other communities that contribute greatly to Kentucky's heritage tourism. I think this hard work is paying off and will continue to do so. And before I close, I'd like to recognize my family members who are here with me today. My husband, Herb Sparrow, and our daughter, Amy Potts. And as some of you know, we Sparrows have a Lincoln family tie, so it's been a real personal honor for me to be here today as well. So again, thank you for allowing me to share this special day with you. And on behalf of Governor Bashir and the Tourism, Arts, and Heritage Cabinet, I want to extend our very best wishes for the success of the Lincoln Legacy Museum. Thank you. Thank you, Secretary Sparrow. We also have with us today Stuart Sanders. Stuart is a professional service administrator for the Kentucky Historical Society. During the Lincoln Bicentennial, Stuart worked with Kentucky communities to preserve and interpret the Lincoln legacy throughout Kentucky, including the Kentucky Lincoln Heritage Trail. Today, Stuart works with the Kentucky Civil War Sesquicentennial Commission and the Kentucky War uh, of 1812 Bicentennial Commission. Please welcome Stuart Sanders. Thank you, Judge, and uh, thanks to all of you for having me here today. It's, it's really been a great privilege to be part of this celebration to dedicate the Lincoln Legacy Museum. In addition to commemorating the Lincoln family's Washington County roots, this new museum is a wonderful legacy of Kentucky's efforts to commemorate the 200th anniversary of the birth of President Abraham Lincoln. During the Abraham Lincoln Bicentennial, the Kentucky Historical Society was really honored to be the administrative agency for the Kentucky Abraham Lincoln Bicentennial Commission. And the Lincoln Commission worked to fund a variety of projects across the Commonwealth, including several here in Washington County. In addition to uh, expanding the Lincoln Heritage Trail out to the uh, Lincoln Homestead State Park and helping with the Lincoln Hanks wedding celebration that was head out, held out there that really helped kick off uh, the Lincoln Bicentennial. We were fortunate to provide uh, funding for several grant projects here in Washington County. Uh, it included the grant to help fund the, the Lincoln statue that's behind you there, a grant to protect and display the historic Lincoln family wedding documents that are here in Washington County. And then finally, we also helped uh, with a grant to fund this museum here that we're commemorating today. The Kentucky Historical Society and the Lincoln Commission was pleased to work with many members of this community to ensure the preservation of the Lincoln family legacy in Washington County. This museum will greatly complement Kentucky's other Lincoln sites that have really made the Lincoln Heritage Trail a vibrant heritage tourism destination. 
and the Commonwealth will definitely benefit from all of your hard work. Well, the Kentucky Historical Society is committed to providing Kentuckians with connections to the past, perspective on the present, and inspiration for the future. In addition to supporting museums like this one, the Society offers a broad range of programs that uh, benefit communities. One of the most important projects that we do is the Kentucky Historical Society's History Mobile, which is around the corner here, and it features our new Civil War exhibit. Our last exhibit featured Kentucky's Abraham Lincoln, and it was on the road from 2008 till 2012. The Lincoln History Mobile made 268 visits across Kentucky to many communities, and it served nearly 187,000 visitors. So it was a, a, a great part of our Lincoln Bicentennial efforts. So today we'll hope you'll take the opportunity to explore the new Civil War exhibit that we have just around the corner. As you know, history is essential because it allows us to develop an understanding about how the past influences our present. It also helps us inform our current decisions so that we can build a better future. We recognize that the study of history is especially important for our children, and we're happy that these students could join us today. Real historical study is not the memorization of names and dates. Instead, it's the practice of skills that are critical to the 21st century, including critical thinking, the development of creative solutions, collaboration, and communication. This new museum here in Springfield really puts many of those skills into practice and will benefit students all across Kentucky for a long, long time. So today we're thankful that Kentucky's, uh, or the Lincoln Legacy Museum will help Kentuckians have a greater understanding of how Lincoln's family legacy influenced him and his presidency. As Secretary Sparrow mentioned, there were many Washington County residents who were important partners in the effort to commemorate the Lincoln Bicentennial. And there are too many uh, to, to note on an individual basis, but please know how much the Kentucky Historical Society and also the Lincoln Commission appreciated the efforts of many, many citizens here who played a very important part in, in helping us commemorate Lincoln's 200th anniversary. We're happy to be here today recognizing that this museum is another uh, part of that great legacy. Thank you for having me here today, and congratulations on all of your hard work. Thank you.